Hey guys, this is ReedFreak7, and welcome back to a Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you this bone meal powered sugarcane farm. It produces double the amount of sugarcane as you put in bone meal, uh, or very close to it at least. Very occasionally a piece of sugarcane will shoot out the side or whatever, and I've done what I can to prevent it with these blocks out front, but I can't prevent everything apparently. So let me show you. As you saw, this farm isn't 100% efficient, but it is fairly close. Uh, I only lost two sugarcane from a stack of bone meal, but overall I did get the full two stacks of sugarcane. So let me go over how this farm actually works. Out here, I have the lever running into a redstone line, which turns the clock on and off. The clock is seven ticks, and every seven ticks it will send a pulse through this observer. This observer powers a redstone line, which powers the dispenser, which bone meals the sugarcane, and then three ticks later, the piston on top is fired, which harvests the sugarcane. Then down here, we have a hopper minecart inside of the sand block, which is picking up all of the drops as they fall, and then it is splitting those drops between the two hoppers here, and putting them into the chest. The reason I have it split over two hoppers is because one hopper just wasn't fast enough and after running the farm for a while you would start to get a backlog uh, building up on top if you were using a lot of sugarcane. Then out the back here this part is optional. I have a hopper and a chest going into the dispenser just for extra bone meal storage if you want to run the farm for a longer period of time. So let's get into the tutorial. For this farm, you'll need these resources on top. You will obviously need bone meal to run the farm. And then these are optional. If you want to add the extra bone meal storage out the back, then you can get that stuff. Then also, you'll probably want some temporary blocks for building. So to build this farm, you're going to start out by placing a double chest and then placing two hoppers going out the back of that then place a chest on top of the left hopper, and then you're going to place a rail on the right hopper. Now out the back of this, you're going to place a temporary block with a stair on top, and then you can get rid of that temporary block, and then place a block off to either side of that stair, because that is eventually going to have water in it, and you just don't want it spilling out the sides. Then on top of the chest, we're going to place a temporary block, and we are going to place a sand block there and place a minecart with hopper on the rail. Then you're going to break the rail. And as you can see, the sand falls onto the minecart hopper. And that is how we get that inside of the sand block. Then you're going to nudge the minecart hopper. And that's very important as that puts it over both hoppers rather than just the one under it. Now you can put the water in your stair block and then get out your dispenser and piston and place them like so. I forgot to say, you can probably get rid of that and then you'll want to place your sugarcane and you'll want to not do what I just did to my minecart hopper. Now you'll want to place a transparent block here and that makes sure that the redstone that goes on top of this will not power this hopper and lock it temporarily, which will cause issues for the farm. Then place a redstone on top of that with a block out the front and a lever on the front of that block. For now, you'll probably want to turn that lever on as that will make sure the farm doesn't start going as you're building it. Now place a temporary block and then place a block on top of that and a block on the back of it. Then you can get rid of that temporary block. Then we're again going to place a temporary block and we're going to place a block on the side of it and a block on top of it. Then place another temporary block and a block on either side of it, like so. Then you can get rid of your temporary blocks and start placing in some redstone. So you're going to put a redstone dust on top of that and that, and then you're going to take your repeaters and you're going to place one on four ticks on this lower block and one on two ticks facing the opposite direction on this top block. Then on top of this block right uh, here, 
that I can't see on the top of, you're going to place a redstone torch, and that is going to be it for your clock. As you can see, if I unflip this lever, it starts pulsing. Then you're going to place an observer out of this repeater, and you're going to place two blocks out like that, and redstone dust on top of both of those. Then on top of this block here, you're going to place two blocks up like that, and then two more, or just one block actually, out like that. Then place an observer facing out of that with a block on top, a repeater on two ticks coming out of this block, and then a redstone dust. That is it for the redstone, but now we're just going to build a cage up around this sugar cane to make sure that it will not go absolutely everywhere when the farm is running. So just build up four glass blocks on each side like that, and then place a glass block on top to seal it off. These don't all actually have to be glass blocks, but I'm using that because it looks nicer so you can actually see the farm. Uh, these all could be solid blocks as long as it doesn't interfere with any of the redstone. Like here, this has to be a transparent block or this redstone line won't work. Then your last step is placing in your eight concrete that are left over like that. And that's just going to help contain the sugar cane so it doesn't shoot out randomly. Then if you wish the extra storage, you're just going to place a hopper coming out of that and then place a chest on top of that hopper and you can just put your bone meal in here. Then you should be able to just flip this lever and the farm will start going. So as you can see, much the same situation as before, only one shot out this time, but you will have slight losses. Well, that's the end of this video, so I hope you all have enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.